So finally, let's look at open structure loads. Open structure area loads are the simplest to understand because they act as a single pressure and only take into account the shape or tributary width of the member. And what I mean by this is if we apply a single pressure uh, to the plane bounded by the corner nodes that we identify, it will only distribute the load to those members based on uh, the width or tributary width of the member. So the orientation of members does matter. So for example here, we modeled these two brace frames uh, on our structure that we've been using in the other videos. And I'm just going to do hide these so we can look at them in a little more detail. So let's open up the 3D rendering of our model. As you can see, the all of these red members are the same, but I have the columns shown with the narrower flange exposed to this side. We're going to be applying a like quote unquote wind load to this way. As you can see, the columns have the flange exposed, and the X braces have the wider or longer uh, dimension of the of the beam exposed. They have the web exposed. So I believe this this is a 12 by 50 or so. So I think the uh, the flange width is about eight, and the um, the web is about the depth of the beam is about 12 inches. Or sorry, it's 10 by 22. So I think it's 10 and five. So the flange width is five, and the depth of the whole beam is 10. So we should see about a two to one ratio uh, in terms of load. But let's just apply one to see w what I'm talking about. So again, come into area loads, open structure load. Same as before, you need to identify the corner nodes. And uh, be again, this is the simplest one because you don't actually have to um, worry about uh, going in the right, or right order or a you know, specific order. You do need to follow either a clockwise or counterclockwise uh, direction. So we'll identify those. And we'll just to keep it simple, we'll say 100. PSF, uh, similar to the other uh, load mechanisms, you can do it in any global axis or local axis. We're going to be doing it in the global X axis, and we're doing it in the negative direction since we're blowing our pseudo wind at the at the frame this way. And then we'll just give it an arbitrary load group name. We'll say wind load. Minus X. The only different field uh, in this loading scenario versus the other loading mechanisms uh, is the loaded members axis. So basically, what this means is um, it defaults to all members, and what it's is what it's saying is that it's going to load all the members in this plane that we identified with the corner node IDs <coughs> that are either um, orthogonal to the global axis or just in the plane in general. So it's going to load every single member here. If for some reason you only wanted to load uh, or the members that are orthogonal to the uh, global axis, you can change this to XYZ members only. But this always defaults to all members because you, theoretically in an open structure, it's the wind or any kind of pressure is going to affect every member shown here. So let's just hit apply. And as you can see, we had we had 100 PSF, but the loads are relatively small because it's only taking into account the width that is exposed to the pressure. So if this is only you know a foot or so or less than a foot, um, the the pressure is going to be very small. So you can see that this pressure here on the brace whoop, is 0.102, so that's you know right about um, a foot. And you, you start to notice that the pressure on the columns is about half or just less than half of the pressure, or sorry, excuse me, the distributed load, equivalent distributed load on the braces. So this is 0 0.085 on the brace and 0 0.048 on the column. And excuse me, the 0 0.102 is uh, being applied to the, the girder here, which is an even larger uh, beam. This is, I think it's like a 12... Um, 12 by something or whatever. So this is where it's getting the 0.104 uh, uh, kip per feet. So very, very simple. Just apply a pressure to a, an area and it'll take into account the widths that are exposed to that pressure. Um, again, the, <clears throat> the area load here can be applied to any slope. 
uh, it can be applied to any uh, uh, plane. It's just whatever the whatever uh, the plane that you identified uh, is is what can be applied to. So it can be applied to a floor as well. But um, with that, it's just a very simple uh, run through of the open structure loads. Uh, thanks for watching.